Hey, good day everyone and welcome to another daily series of the Elastic Byte. Um, today I would like to talk about cross-cluster search and cross-cluster replication in Elastic Cloud. Um, just to be sure that everyone is on the same page, cross-cluster search allows you to search across indices in different clusters. So you can have cluster one, cluster two, and basically search all of the data in two clusters. And cross-cluster replication means um, that an index, which is on one cluster, is basically replicated to the other one. And one of the basic requirements for this to happen is that there is a connection between those two clusters, uh, which is not at the, at the HTTP port, but about the binary protocol port. And this is how those two clusters exchange information. And I have an example set up already started up. Uh, that's over here. So the example setup is over here with cluster one and cluster two. And if we take a look at the setup, which again is done in Terraform, you see that I have my cluster one deployment over here. That's a 80, uh, 820 version. And that there's a cluster two deployment over here. And the cluster two deployment has a remote cluster. And this is basically the configuration to make sure that those two systems can talk to each other. And in this example, it's unidirectional if you want. So there's only a connection from cluster two to cluster one. And we can take a look that, uh, at that in the setup right now. So what we do is we open one tab for the cluster two setup. We open one tab for the cluster one setup. And we end up in Kibana. And then we can go to stack management remote clusters. And we see here for cluster two, there's a connection to cluster one. Uh, there's a couple of detailed information. The most important part is that the connection is accepted. And if we do the exact same on cluster two, we see that within stack management remote cluster, the setup has not been done, which basically means that when we do execute a cross cluster search, we can do this from cluster two to cluster one, but not vice versa with this particular setup. So let's do that. Let's close this and go to DevTools. And again, we could just run the remote info API endpoint. This is basically what you just signed the UI. Uh, most importantly, we see that connected is uh, set to true, which means the connection is alive and we can start using it. So what we could do now is we can use the cluster two index and index a document. And on the cluster one index, we will also create an index and index a document. So now we have two documents and this is basically the syntax we can query this. So there's cluster two index and cluster underscore one. This is the name from the remote connection that you saw earlier. And there we would like to query the cluster one index. So when we run this, we see, ah, okay, I get two hits back. The first one is coming from the cluster one, cluster one index and the second one is coming from the cluster two index. So this really searches across data in both clusters. And I could now write my arbitrary queries as I always do uh, using the query DSL. But uh, instead of doing that, I would like to show the cross cluster search functionality. So cross cluster search basically means that you have one index that just gets regularly indexed into. And then on the remote cluster, you basically configure the cluster to follow this index so that your data gets pretty much instantly replicated. The way this works is that, again, at first, we start to create such an index. So we will call this leader index, can have an arbitrary name, and we index a document. So that's the first one. When we now run a query, we see, OK, my leader index has this one single document, so all is good. And the next step would be to set up following this index on the second cluster. So what we would do here is we would create something called my follower index, but that is not a real index in terms of data gets being indexed, but it's really just the shell in order to replicate the data into that one. And what you need to configure is the remote cluster setup. Again, it's cluster underscore one and the leader index that should be followed. So once we do this, we should get back a message back that everything is up and running and working. And the next step is to execute a search. And you see the first document that we indexed before we started the cross-cluster replication has already been copied. 
The next step would be to add another document and see if it already has arrived on my second search. And indeed it did. So the cross-cluster application in the setup is up and running and works as expected. So setup itself is relatively stress-free and easy. Um, however, there's uh, one more thing within Elastic Cloud that you need to be aware of when you set this up. And if we go back to our Cloud Portal page, you see that under the Elasticsearch deployments list, there's the part of features and there's the trust tab. And this is important because by default, all your clusters can communicate with each other. However, you may not would like to do that. So you set this to trust no deployment. Once you do that, the clusters need to be explicitly added to a list in order to talk to each other. So if I say trust no deployment, they don't see each other and you would need to add this in order to do that. You would need to go through the setup of the cluster, enter the security part, see, okay, there's a trusted deployment. And then you can basically select the specific deployment over here. So select cluster two, update trust. And with this, we have established trust between cluster one and cluster two so that they could talk to each other. And this would mean even with a completely untrusted environment, cross-cluster search would work. And you could also do the same for us to, to cluster two. So set up security over here, configure the actions, set cluster one, update its trust, and then you would be good to go. All right, so that was today's introduction into cross-cluster search and cross-cluster replication. Um, feel free to try it out. Make sure you properly set up the direction. I think that's the most important caveat to keep in mind, depending on the direction in which you would like to search uh, or in which you would like to replicate. Um, make sure that this is set up properly and from then everything is good to go. All right, thanks everyone and see you tomorrow. Goodbye.